Hello everybody, this is Sarah from smallbusinesssarah.com and today I'm going to show you what to do if you accidentally use your business credit card for a personal purchase. Now, we do not want to do this. It is much better if we can keep our personal purchases separate from our business and the two should not be mixing. But sometimes accidents happen and so we know we need to know how to address that. Now, when you make a purchase, a personal purchase with your business credit card, that is not an expense to your business. It is not a proper business expense. It is actually a, it's like a withdrawal. It's like you're taking a bit of a payment from your business account. And that is perfectly fine to pay yourself out of your business. That, that's what a business is for, to earn money so that you can, that you can pay yourself, that you can take a business withdrawal. But we don't want to be nickel and diming these withdrawals. We want to send our personal accounts a, a big chunk of money, $500 this month, $1,000 the next month. We don't want to be using our business credit card every time we go to the grocery store to pay ourselves because the IRS likes to see us keep business transactions separate from personal transactions. So that's the idea. We, we don't want these type of things to happen. Of course you can withdraw money from your business to pay for personal items, to pay yourself for your hard work in your business, but we don't want to do it with these small transactions. But like I said, accidents happen. So here's my transaction here. I paid for softball with my business credit card, uh-oh, in the amount of $40. This is not an expense to my business. This is me taking basically, even though I didn't intend to, a withdrawal out of my business. So we do not want to run this through as a business expense. Instead, we want to run it through an owner's equity account. Now, if you have some versions of QuickBooks have a special owner's equity account for this and some don't. Mine didn't, so I'm gonna create it for you real quick so you know exactly how to do it for yourself. If you already have this account in your QuickBooks, then you are good to go. This account we're gonna call Owners Pay and Personal Expenses. Perfectly describes what this account is for. And this is the account you would still use if you did pay yourself a, a big chunk at, at the end of the month. If you sent yourself, you wrote yourself a check for $500 out of your business, this is where your owner's pay would go. And as the account so aptly describes, it's also personal expenses you didn't mean to include on your business. So I just type that right in the box where we add our category names. We're going to click Add Owner's Pay and Personal Expenses. It's going to bring up this screen, which if you watched my Customizing the Chart of Accounts video, you will be familiar with this screen. But we want to make sure this gets recorded as an Owner's Equity Account, not as anything else. And where is Owner's Equity? There it is. They just have it as equity right here. I was looking for an O and it was under E. Um, in this section, you could put it under a couple of different things. You could put it under just owner's equity. I think I'm going to pick um, a partner distribution on that one, but it, it doesn't really matter, this detail type here. And we already have our name put in. Don't include anything in here, balance or anything like that. Just hit save and close and we'll be done. There we go, owner's pay. It's going to an owner's equity, equity account. We'll hit add. And we're done. So like I said, you will hit that account every time you pay yourself from the business, whether that is a payment that you meant to make, $500 at the end of the month that you wrote a check to yourself for, or whether that was an accidental payment 
in the form of accidentally using your business credit card for a personal use. I hope that makes sense to you. If it does not, please leave a comment below and I will do my best to answer your questions. You can also find other answers to your small business tax and accounting questions on my YouTube channel or at smallbusinesssarah.com. I'm always happy to answer specific questions if you have them. Thanks for listening. I'll talk to you later.